this is Ellie from Ellie Derm. I'm a pharmacist and cosmetic formulator. Um, and in today's video, we will be discussing whether um, ingesting oral hyaluronic acid is beneficial for you, whether your body can absorb the hyaluronic acid, what the evidence is showing, and would we as a pharmacist take hyaluronic acid ourselves? So if this sounds good to you, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to our YouTube channel as well for future releases. is dedicated to um, oral hyaluronic acid only. Um, I can do a separate video on topical, um, topically applied hyaluronic acid as well or um, hyaluronic acid fillers if you would like um, but this video is, um, is going to be focusing on oral hyaluronic acid or hyaluronic acid supplements. What is hyaluronic acid? So hyaluronic acid is found in a lot of tissues in our body including, um, our extra, in, including the extracellular fluid, um, our joints, our cartilage, and um, in fact, more than 50% of total body hyaluronic acid is found in the skin. So as you can see, hyaluronic acid plays a really important role for keeping our joints lubricated um, and are also um, responsible for keeping our skin hydrated and keeping our cells together. So as we age, our body starts to make less hyaluronic acid and as a result of that, um, our joints can become quite stiff and um, the, you know, the joints are not as well lubricated and therefore it can cause a little bit of um, joint pain or um, you know, osteoarthritis or one of the causes for osteoarthritis. Um, it can also um, cause you know, your skin to become much more dry as well. There's been several studies which we have found um, that they've done studies on um, humans taking hyaluronic acid and also giving hyaluronic acid to mice as well in the labs. Um, and the studies have actually come back to be very promising, um, showing that um, taking or ingesting hyaluronic acid supplements can be really beneficial for the skin. Um, it can also help to improve um, you know, the um, joint pain as well, but, and it's especially beneficial for people who suffer from osteoarthritis, as well as people who suffer from dry eyes. In one notable study um, that was conducted on 60 Japanese men and women, um, they took hyaluronic acid supplements of 120 milligrams per day for 12 weeks. Um, and during this period, um, so they found that um, the men and women who took 120 milligrams of hyaluronic acid daily for 12 weeks, um, showed better skin luster, um, improved skin elasticity, as well as um, improved skin hydration, and also um, improved skin supplement, suppleness compared to the group who didn't take any hyaluronic acid at all. Um, now, interestingly, um, all the studies that um, I did find, um, it, it did mention that um, the hyaluronic acid supplements, which tend to work the best, were the ones that um, had, that was formulated or made with low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. So the, when you are actually ingesting a high molecular weight hyaluronic acid, your body is still absorbing it, but it's just, the absorption is just not as good as a low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. As a pharmacist, would I take hyaluronic acid myself? Um, yeah, so the evidence is there. It is convincing enough for me um, to want to go out and actually purchase hyaluronic acid um, as a supplement and actually incorporate it into my daily routine. Um, my only issue at the moment is I have not been able to find um, a supplement that actually discloses on their packaging what molecular weight of hyaluronic acid the product um, is formulated with. Um, all it tells me is that it contains 100 milligrams of hyaluronic acid per capsule. Um, now the studies are, are using 120 milligrams of hyaluronic acid. So I guess, you know, give and take, um, I'm pretty happy with 100 milligrams, but I just would like to know whether it's formulated with high molecular weight hyaluronic acid or low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. Because if it's formulated with a high molecular weight hyaluronic acid, then a study su suggests that you would actually need a much higher dose to, to achieve the results that you're looking for. Um, so yeah, so that's my two cents and my, and my research. Um, if you have any comments or questions about this video, please drop them in the comments below. Um, and you know, once I actually do find a product that, you know, shows me um, all the information that I need and um, I will actually do another video to update um, and also share it as well. Um, but yeah, no, I'm pretty keen to actually try this out and see um, for myself. So yeah, if you did find this content useful and did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for future videos as well. Um, my name is Ellie. I'm a pharmacist and cosmetic formulator for Ellie Dome and I hope to see you in the next video.